Hello everyone, good evening. I had to retake this video because I had to adjust my lighting. But for tonight we'll be talking about the Thai Bat. So this video is dedicated to the Thai Bat only. I know I've made a video about Southeast Asian currency where I included this. But we didn't really go into a lot. So we'll dedicate this video for the Thai Bat since I've got a new one as well. By the way, these banknotes should have been ch kind of cheap, but because of the fee that I had to pay as well and the money changer, these were actually kind of expensive. So, this two of these could have only costed me 50 or 60 pesos, but because there was a fee, it costed me 79. This only should have costed me um, 70 pesos yeah but there's a fee so it costed me 99 yeah but since I've got a lot of paycheck right now this Christmas maybe next year I'll try to buy a hundred baht well after like I don't know my money gets uh, into a much bigger value because when school comes back I'll be keeping on uh, saving up lunch money more even though I've got like a lot of uh, money with me right now I mean emergency purposes obviously we I need it we need it so yeah that's why I'm earning up and the reason I was earning up money is because if I was able to go to the US, I'd be able to have my own pocket money. But that didn't happen. So I just spent some of it in buying banknotes online and in the Forex. So, yeah, that's how I have like four grand with me. Half of it is earned up lunch money, by the way. So I've got two. Uh, Thai banknotes over here. This is 20 and 50, so we've got 70 baht. I've actually got 110 baht, which is not a lot in here, it's still 100. So, uh, yeah, in every banknote, it features the portrait of His Majesty King Vajira Longkorn or Rama the Tenth. I'm so sorry if I butchered the name. I don't speak Thai. I'm so sorry, uh, Your Majesty. If someone from Thailand is watching this, I'm I'm very sorry, because in Thailand you can't disrespect the king, you can't disrespect a monarch. You're gonna be in heavy jail time. Even foreigners have to abide to that law because well, it's a monarch. You need to respect it. That's the it's like the symbol of the country. Anyways, the back is where. Uh, mm, a lot of stuff happen. The back has portraits of each king, starting from the twenty. We have King Rama the first, which is over this one, which uh, is Fra Buddha Yodfa Chula Loke, and over here is Grand Palace, and there's a uh, like close thing here. It says establishment of. Bangkok as capital and over here is King Rama the second or Fra Buddha Loetla Nabalai and a Thai mural scene and a Thai mural of a scene from Inau the 50 oh, the website is only the 50 has well, on the left has King Nanklao or Rama the third and the Chinese junk. A junk is a type of ship, by the way. And over here is King Mongkut, or Rama IV, and Kao Wang, which is an observatory to study the stars. Yes, in ancient Thailand, they study stars, and I'm pretty sure they have an own names for constellations as well. So, we should check the security features. By the way, I forgot to mention 
the King Rama the tenth over here is wearing the uh, the uniform of the commander of the Royal Thai Air Force. It looks really good on him. And over here is his emblem, I think. And over here is the uh, what do you call this? The the coat of arms of Thailand, which also is which is also a security feature. But we will talk about that later. So the twenty has two versions, a polymer and a paper version. Paper version is just similar to the security feature of this, but we will talk more about the polymer version. So polymer banknote obviously has this small clear window. And this is a rare thing for polymer banknotes, but over here is what's called a shadow image. And over here is a line which if you point a light behind it you you will see the line but you can still you can still see it and this thing over here where if you tilt it, it turns purple and there is embossed printing up there and there is intaglio raised printing especially in the king's portrait you can see the detail in that and there's a latent image over here, which is just a denomination. You can see number 20. And there's these flower types, rail type of flowers over here. That's for the blind. So the 50 is made of paper. So over here is a watermark. And over here is a windowed security strip. You can see it forms a line and a point of light behind it. And it changes color. And there's, yeah, just the same like the 20. The only difference is that the material it's made of. And one more thing, one more cool thing. Let me just turn off my light. A UV feature. The 20 only has that one, but the 50 lights up more. Very nice. So, that's the Thai part. Very nice spec notes, also the different sizes. That's for the blind. And if I ever have the chance, I might get a hundred baht. And yeah, I wish I could go to Thailand someday. And I might probably spend like this. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching this video. I really hope you like this and you learn something new. By the way, here's an old 20 baht note. Different portraits, different portrait, different motifs. That will be for another video. Thank you so much for watching this. I will see you in the next video and goodbye. Have a nice day. Have a nice Christmas.